Hello everyone, I am Roseto Durkista and this is Introduction to Computing. Okay, so logic gates are the basic building blocks of any digital system. It is an electronic circuit having one or more than one input and only one output. So the relationship between the input and the output is based on a certain logic. So when we say logic, it is the um, in our or in our own term or in a very basic understanding, uh, you could say that logic gates is the what if. What if this thing happened? What will be the output? Uh, you may say you may also say that logic gates is the cause and effect. So what is the reason behind? Why did this thing happen? So that is logic gate. One good example is at, as it is shown in your screen. Uh, light switch has zero and one side, and if the switch is on one side the light should be turned on and will be turned off if the light switch is on the zero side so can you imagine the light switch when you had to separate a uh, button one and zero those switches those switch sides represents zero and one if the button is locked on one side that means the light is on but if the button is locked on the zero side, that means uh, the light is off. So that's the logic. Uh, when you see when you see a light switch that is uh, the one, uh, usually those switches with uh, symbols, or in the other side it has like a dash, and while on the other side it has a zero. So those are indicator which is the side that will turn on the light and which side will turn off the light so if you see a switch that is uh, the side with those uh, dash dash line or something like uh, in a form of uh, a vertical line one or it looks like sometimes it looks like one or maybe just really it is written in one one and zero or zero and one when the switch is flipped on one that means the light is turned on but if the switch is flipped on the zero so that means uh, the light is off so that's the logic behind the switch so that is the very basic example of logic gate uh, so imagine this is your switch this is the one this is the zero if the switch is locks like locks like this uh, the zero is on the the upper part while the one is on the lower part that means um, the light is on but if we switch it like this that means the one is in the upper hand or the the upper part higher part while the zero is on the lower part lower level that means the light is off so those are the condition uh, just two condition if one is down the light is on if zero is down the light is off so that is logic key. Okay. So, as we talk about the logic gate, there are different types of gate. And the very first type of gate is AND gate. So that is the first gate and logic gate. So this logic gate requires to have all conditions to be true. So if you go back to the example, the switch, 
if all the conditions are true i know if you are using the and gate to all the preconditions before the light switch will uh, the light will be turned on should all be true for example you should have an electric current a live electric current and turn the switch on on the one side the side of the switch which, which has the symbol of one or dash so if those two conditions are true then your light bulb will turn on but if one of those condition or precondition then your light will not turn on okay again um to turn on your light you should meet these two conditions the first one is you should have a live electric current the second one is the switch should be flipped on the side which has the symbol of one or dash line so those are the two conditions preconditions uh, before the, the light will turn on but if one of those condition is false then that means your light will not turn on so that is the uh, conditions that you have to uh, make true if you are using an AND gate so AND gate has these rules so, so for example we have this uh, one two three okay so this is your input a this is your input b this is your output so this is your precondition a your precondition b and this is your output so suppose you have zero so we'll use binary in this uh, context yeah so if you have input zero by the way zero stands for false and one stands for true so if you have input a zero and input b zero that means the output is zero or false but if you have input true on a but input false on b still you will get a false output or zero also if you have an input a you have zero or false and on input b you have one the output will still remain zero or false because the role of the roles or the role of and gate is that input a and input b should have a true value so therefore if we have one on a and one on b that's the time you have an output of one or true so that is the role of and gate uh -huh. and uh, this is the symbol of and gate So, okay so this is your a this is your b and this is your o or shall we say y okay so okay so that is and gate again if you are using the and gate all conditions should be true if at least one or both input are false you will have false output And then after the AND gate, we will now have the OR 
gate so that's that is the second uh, logic gate that we are going to tackle so this logic or this logic gate requires you at least one so this is the opposite of AND gate with AND gate you have to make all preconditions to be true but in OR gate you can have just at least one precondition as true to have an, uh, a true output or an output that is equivalent to true so again see for example if you have input a and you have input b and this is your output all right so in this case if you have false and then false you will have an output of false so again zero equals to false and one is equal to true okay but if your input a is true and your input b is false you will have an output of true because the um, rule of or gate is that you have at least one true in your precondition or input okay or right, so for example you have on input a false on input b true still will have true in the output much more if your input a and your input b is true and true then you will have true output and then but unlike the uh, and the symbol of uh, or gate is something like this up this is your a this is your b and this is your y so that is or gate after OR gate, or after AND gate, and OR gate, the third one is NOT gate. Again, zero stands for false, and one stands for true. Okay, so this logic gate will only convert the input to the other as a result uh, just um, the other name for not gate is uh, inverter okay so whatever the input is it will just simply invert it and produce a new output so for example you have input A and you have output so in this case since it is uh, inverter the NOT gate if you, are, if you have an input of 1 using the NOT gate or the inverter it will simply just output 0 or false but if you have false as input it will simply produce a true or 1 output so that is the simple rules of NOT gate. It will just invert the opposite. It will produce the opposite of your input. So if you have inputted 0 or false, it will produce an output of true. But if you inputted an, output, an input of a value of uh, false, it will produce true or if it is true it will produce false output 
So it will just reverse the input and output. And then as for the symbol, so the symbol of the uh, NAT gate or inverter is like this. Okay, so this is your input A, and you have a small, a small circle here, and this is your output, or Y. So that is the symbol of NOT gate. After the NOT gate, we now have the NAND gate or the net and gate okay this is also called not and or the inverted and gate Again, still 0 is equal to false, and 1 is equal to true. So in this case, instead of from input A and B, we'll produce an output. This time, A and B produce a partial output then produce the final output so instead of having three columns we will now have four columns okay so this is your input a this is your input b this is your output and now this is your end And this is your final output. Okay. So in this case, if you have, uh, since it uses um, or it follows the rules of AND, but just being inverted, so first in hand we have to think what is the role of AND. So if this uses the role of AND, then suppose input A and input B, which has the same value of false, it will produce an output of false on the AND but since we have to invert the output from AND it will become 1 or true in this case and listen for example if input A we have 1 and input B we have 0 so the output will be 0 and AND but since we have to invert it becomes 1 same as if you have input 0 on A, 1 on B, the output in AND will be 0, but it will be inverted to 1. And it's the same if you have uh, using the AND gate, if you have input 1 on A, 1 on B, that means on AND you will have an output of 1 but since we will invert the output 1 it becomes 0 so what really uh, what is the big difference between the because this looks like the looks like um, the OR gate right if you can stay uh, you see if you made an OR gate here Okay. So if this is your OR gate and you have A here, A, B and oh no. So we have to produce three columns for your OR gate. So this is your A, this is your B, this is your Y with OR gate. So this is OR gate. 
in or gate the rule of or gate is that 0 and 0 is equal to 0 1 and 0 is equal to 1 0 and 1 is equal to 1 1 and 1 is equal to 1 if you compare it to the NAND gate they're almost the same right almost the same output look at this output here the final output the output here is almost the same with the output of OR gate the only difference is this one and this one it is because using the OR gate 0 input A and 0 input B will produce 0 output but on the NAND the 0 input A 0 input B if it produce an output of 0 for AND it will be inverted to 1 and the rest is 1 and another difference is here the NAND gate an input of 1A and 1B is equivalent to 1 but since it is being inverted it becomes 0 but in OR gate it remains 1 see so it almost the same with the OR gate and for the symbol of the NAND gate so since since the NAND gate is uh, following the rules of the AND gate and then implement the NOT gate rule or the inverter so we will combine the two symbol of the two separate gate the AND gate and the uh, inverter or the, the NOT gate rule so uh, the AND gate symbol is something like this hi so this is your A this is your B this is your Y this is the symbol of AND gate and then as for the inverter or the NOT gate the symbol is this one with the little O here so in this case for the NAND gate we will combine these two so the final symbol now for the NAND gate is this one this your A, this is your B So this is your A, this is your B, and we'll take this sign and put it here. That is your Y. So this is now the final symbol for the NAND gate. okay so after the NAND gate here comes the NOR gate or the NOT OR gate 
this gate or this logic gate follow the rules of the OR gate but then implement the NOT gate rule or the inverter so still in this logic gate 0 is equal to false and 1 is equal to true okay. so instead of having just 3 columns we will have 4 the input A, the input B, the output, and the uh, partial output, and then the inverted or final output. So, one, two, three, and four. Okay. So this is column A, column B, this is your OR, and this is your NOR, or I uh, shall say Y, so this is your Y, or the output, the final output. So in this case, first we are going to use the role of OR gate. So if you have 0 on A, 0 on B, the result is 0. But since you are, we are going to invert it, so 0 becomes 1. And then if you have 0 on A, 1 on B, therefore, by the rule of OR, you will have 1. But since we are going to invert it, it will become 0 on the final output. And vice versa, if you have 1 on A, 0 on B, still you will have 1 on OR. But since it will be uh, inverted, you will it will produce an output of zero or false and then another one if you have one on a and one on b using the or uh, rolls or gate roll it will produce one but since we are going to invert the result of or it becomes zero and then as you can see with the presented table it looks like uh, the and the result of and gate so we'll try to recreate the AND gate here. So produce three columns for the A, for the B, and for your output. So if this is A, this is B, this is your Y, this is AND gate. Okay. So the rules of AND is that you should uh, make the preconditions or that the inputs or all inputs to have a value of true so in this manner if you have 0 on a 0 on b you will have an output of 0 if you have 1 on a 0 on b still you will have a 0 output if you have 0 on a 1 on b still you will have a 0 output and if you have 1 on a and 1 on b you will have 1 output so if you try to look at the final output of the NOR gate, it looks the same, looks the same with the final output of AND. So it's not, sometimes it's misleading, but um, in computing, uh, that's how the that's how the uh, electronic devices works. Sometimes they use the AND, sometimes they use the inverter, sometimes they use the OR or the NAND and still there are different other gate logic gates aside from this AND, OR, NOT AND, and NOT OR or the NOT gate so we have AND gate, the OR gate, the, the NOT gate, the NOT AND, and the NOT OR so we already have 5 logic gates And then, after this five logic gates, we still have one. We call this X or gate or 
exclusive or gate so xor gate is exclusive or gate so this logic gate is uh, special because it, it can be used in the half other or full other and subtractor if you remember the arithmetic the binary arithmetic we have to um, when we do addition and you have 1 plus 1 you will write down the 0 but you have to carry the 1 and in subtraction if you have uh, let's say 0 minus 1 you have to borrow 1 uh, those carry and borrow is uh, implemented or being uh, realized in the computing or in the electronic computing device with the use of the exclusive OR gate or the XOR gate. So, and this manner will have uh, three columns, just three columns there for the input A and for the input B and output. So this is your A, this is your B, this is your Y. And say for example if you have 0 on A and 0 on B, that means you will have 0 on Y. But if you have 0 on A, uh, 1 on B, you will have 1 on Y. If you have 1 on A, 0 on B, you will have 1 on y and then so pretty much it still uh, looks the same with or with, with this uh, first three rows first three example the first three rows of the x or the exclusive or gate um, you can tell that it is very like the or gate but if we write the the fourth one the fourth rule which is you have one on a and one on b you will have zero that is the difference between the or gate and the exclusive or gate if you can remember this is the rule for addition All right so one plus one is equal to zero but you have to uh, carry to one and this one here is subtraction zero minus one that means zero you have to borrow one and therefore that means you have the output of one so that is uh, that's how the exclusive or gate works and okay for the symbol so the symbol of uh, exclusive or is like this Ah, okay. So this is your Y, and this is your A, and this is your P. Okay, so that is the symbol for exclusive or gate. So for the explanation, the XOR gate, uh, another way to expl explain the XOR gate is as follows. The output is high if the inputs are different. Okay, another explanation, supplementary explanation on the XOR gate. On XOR gate. So, if... The output 
is high Ano? Na. So the output is high if the inputs are different if the inputs are the same so if the inputs are the same the output is low so for this example for this example the output is high if the inputs are different that means if you have one and zero therefore you will have one or if you have zero and one you still have one because the input A and B are different from each other. Huh? And then, for this one, if the inputs are the same, the output is low. See, see for example, if the input for A is zero, the input of B is zero, then you will have an output of zero. And also, this holds true if the input for A is 1 and the input for B is 1, you still have 0. Or 1. Which is uh, carry. So to demonstrate further on the um, exclusive OR gate, so this is what it looks like if we draw the diagram. So firstly, we have to draw the symbol. This is A. This is B. Uh, just the sum and you have a half other here so this is the carry so, so for example if you have uh, 0 plus 0 this is equal to 0 so if this is 0 plus 1, this is 1. And if this is 1 plus 0, this is 1. And for the carry, if this is 1 plus 1, you will have 1, 0. So this is now the carry or the half other. So again, this is exclusive or gate or you may write the output of this um, addition to something like 0 and 0 0 and 1 0 and 1 and 1 and 0 
so after the XOR we have now the X nor gate or the inverted exclusive or gate the the logic uh, this logic gate uh, is especially special because it can be used and they have other two full other and subtractor so if the first one the xor gate uh, used in the uh, other have other full other and the subtractor the xor gate is also can be used for half other for full other and subtractor uh, so for the rules we shall demonstrate it in a uh, form of table so we'll have three columns for input a for input b and for output y and in this case in the first rule if you have zero on a zero on b you will have one if you have a um, 0 on A, 1 on B, you will have 0. And if you have 1 on A, 0 on B, you will have 0. And if you have 1 on A and 1 on B, you will have 1. And the rule, the additional rule. So if the uh, the additional rule or additional explanation or other explanation another explanation of uh, XOR it says that the output is high if the inputs are different and if the inputs are the same the output is low so in this case In this case, the, the XNOR or the inverted exclusive OR, it's different. It's the opposite one. So, instead of the output is high if the inputs are different, in this case, the output is high if the inputs are the same. And the output is low if the inputs are not the same. So, as you can see. Uh, So if this is the up so if this is the XNOR and we'll we'll try to rebuild the table for XOR So this is your A, this is your B, this is your Y and this is uh, XOR so if you have 0 and 0 you will have 0 if you have 1 and 0 you will have 1 if you have 0 and 1 you will have 1 if you have 1 and 1 you will have 0 so the main difference of the XOR and the XNOR are these values okay so compared to this values so as you can see um, as it is uh, explained in the XOR that if the input A and input B has the same value you will have a low output that is why you you gained zero or false. Still with the one A and one B, you still have the low output or false or zero, because that is the rule of XOR. It will only have a high output if the two inputs from A and B are different or having the different value like one and zero or zero and one. Now in XOR inverted exclusive or the final 
this answer here it is being inverted to instead of 0 it becomes 1 1 becomes 0 1 becomes 0 0 becomes 1 and this output here is what uh, being presented here in your x nor so the output of x or or exclusive or gate is just being inverted in your x nor output And then for the symbol of XNOR, so as for the symbol of XNOR, the symbol is uh, something like this. Since, uh, so we will just borrow the so we'll just borrow the symbol of OR, but put a little uh, circle here and this is your y so that is the symbol of x nor gate so again the value or how exclusive uh, in inverted exclusive or gate how it works is just that the final uh, output of the XOR gate or the exclusive OR gate is just being inverted in the XNOR gate. And as a sort of review, first we have the AND gate, where the AND gate, the role of AND gate is that you should have make all inputs have the value of true okay again and gate requires you to have both or all inputs to have the value that is equivalent to true before you can have an output of true so, dapat true yung A, true yung B, so that true yung Y. So, input A and input B should be true, so that you will have true in your output. That is the AND gate. And then for the OR gate, you should have at least one input value that has that is true. So that you can have an output of true. Say for example, if you have 0 and 1, so that means you will have an output of 1. So if you have 1 and 0, still you will have an output of 1. And if you have 1 and 1, surely you will have an output of 1. But if you have 0 and 0, you will have an output of 0. That is the rule of or gate next to that is the NOT gate or the inverter simply the inverter is just whatever the output is or supposed to be the output we will convert that to the other value or shall we say whatever the input is we will just invert that input to produce another value in the output like say for example if you have a, a true input we simply make that input into true and produce the true output but if you have the um, I know if you have a true input we will just simply invert that true input to false output so that we could produce a false output but if you have uh, false input we will simply convert that false input into true output and 
through those through output and then after the NAT gate or the inverter we have the NAT AND gate or the inverted AND so simply we'll follow the role of uh, we'll simply follow the role of AND 